Triple double man, Jokic gets his first championship, 2023 NBA champions, Denver Nuggets. And to be honest, the second they won it, I was like, this just feels right, bro. Like it just, it, to be honest, it been felt like they won it. Like I said earlier, I, I, I predicted they were gonna win in five, maybe six. So by the time the game was ending, I was just like, yeah, this, 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 is how, this is how I expected it to go. And people was really disrespecting not only Jokic, but the whole team, bro, like from the beginning of the season or like early in the season, they were the one seed. I think that the one seed in December by like hella games or whatever. And people were just ignoring them in all contender discussions. People were like, oh, the real contenders. OK, Bucks, Celtics, uh, Warriors. And then when the Warriors fell off a little bit, they were like, OK, true on the Warriors. But like the Suns or like other teams, the Clippers, whatever. But then when it came to the Nuggets, people would literally just ignore them in contender discussions. I'll be like, they're the best team in the league. They're finally healthy. I don't understand. They have the two-time MVP. Like, you're not even going to mention them? Like, come on, bro. Lo and behold, by the time they get to the playoffs, they win the game so much that they're like, oh, oh, it, it was too easy. Or like, oh, he got the easiest championship in NBA history because the seeds. It's like, bro, come on, bro. You were talking crazy about those same teams just before the playoffs saying that they, they were going to sweep the Nuggets out of the first round. By the time they beat the first round, they said, oh, Nuggets going to get cooked by KD and D-Book. By the time they embarrassed them again in game six, it was, oh, the Lakers, the most dangerous seven seed in history. And then right after the Lakers lost, it was, oh, we're just, we're only a seven seed. Oh, congratulations. You beat a seven seed. You were supposed to be a seven seed. People are so fake, bro. People are so fake, it is mad annoying. But anyway, then they beat the Heat in the finals, who on the opposite end beat all the <laughs> teams that they weren't even supposed to beat, I guess, besides the Knicks or whatever. And it was just like, Jokic is just like that, bro. Like he literally makes the game look easy. And they constructed a very, very, very good team around him that matches his strengths, that is high IQ. I've talked about this before, but like the high IQ, the matches strengths. Um, they fit within the system they know their role but they're also able to branch out because Jokic is such an unselfish player um and it's just a great time it's just a great time to be an NBA fan bro like the parody is coming to the league super teams are kind of a thing of the past and the, the past five years I think or past like seven years it's been like five teams who broke championship droughts for like who never had a championship for at least 40 years it was the nuggets the bucks the warriors the Cavs, um the raptors it's it's a great time to be an nba fan um the league is just getting more talented than ever every single year and this series was a great example of that because this like this last game boy but this went down to the wire, bro. Like this game was like, it was insane. Like there was like a five minute stretch where niggas was just getting locked up. That niggas was, whenever anybody scored, it was like like something crazy, like a step back three or like a, just a crazy floater over three defenders. Like it was, it was crazy. Just back to back possessions. Like, I think it was like the score was like 89, 91 uh, in favor of the nuggets i think and the, like neither team was scoring like they would just lock each other up Jokic was actually like Jokic was like low-key getting blitzed they were blitzing Jokic, and like he would turn like people jimmy butler would get a steal or whatever and like they were and then on the other end like a kyle Lowry come up eric gordon stuff that hoe i was like yo <laughs> nah that defensive sequence that ended with eric gordon just having a disgusting block i was like yeah yeah this game is over but it was fun while it lasted, bro. It was a fun series. The Heat never gave up, although they never even played Tyler Hero. But yeah, like after like he didn't play the first half, I was like, he's not playing this game, bro. He Jimmy Butler again with a three, with an ill-advised three, a controversial three. This one was actually a lot more controversial. I, I argue actually bad because like there was time on the clock and it was heavily contested. It wasn't like it was open. It was heavily contested. So it was like, why did you take that shot? You should have just drove in for two, but whatever the case may be. They were losing the series anyway, and he was the one who brought them back in that game in the first place. So I was just like, even though he, he was playing bad, like most of the game offensively. So I was just like, whatever. Bam, once again, kind of disappearing in the second half, but I was just like, whatever, bro. At least Bam put in, he put in work. He always puts in work. He always hustles, but he just like, I ain't gonna lie. He was getting locked up by Jokic, bro. Jokic defense, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about Jokic as a complete NBA player. We can't just say he's a two. He's a complete NBA player. Not only on the offense side of the ball. Defense, they was trying to score on him, bro. I seen like three straight possessions or multiple possessions this game where Bam would drive into the paint and Jokic would just wall up and like he would just not score. Like <laughs> he would just not score, bro. Like he's literally one of the better, I would say one of the better defensive centers in the league, honestly. Like definitely not on the worst side of the defensive centers in the league. When you consider not only just he's like a seven foot you're not moving him like that but also 
his ability to get deflections. He had like the most deflections in the league. Court awareness. Court awareness is very important in terms of defense. And he, you think the court awareness only extends on offense? No, we got the court awareness on defense too, with the deflections and all that. Um, so yeah, Jokic is just like clearly the best player in the league. Only go second is Giannis, but we like Giannis can't shoot a free throw, so it's like that's tough. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's looking like a, some type of dynasty going on, bro. Now, obviously you got them coming up teams, youthful teams, and all that these other teams, but the Denver Nuggets are poised for a lot of success in the future at the helm of Jokic, Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, freaking Christian Brown and them, like just just a great team, bro. Like I wish I could name I would literally I could literally name like basically the whole team and say they contributed, bro, but like crazy. Thomas Bryant gets a ring. Ha 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 ha. Um but yeah. Congratulations to Jokic and the Nuggets, bro. Okay.